Roberto Luongo. He's always been a prodigy in front of the net and has even set a couple of records during his career. Luongo played his junior hockey for Val d'Or, which made him the highest drafted goaltender in Quebec Major Junior Hockey League history when they selected him with the number two pick in the 1995 QMJHL draft. Two years later, Luongo became the highest drafted goaltender in NHL history when he was selected number four by the New York Islanders in the 1997 NHL draft. And yeah, Rick DiPietro was drafted number one a couple years later, but it still speaks volumes of his potential. When Luongo retired, he did as one of the top three of the NHL's all-time wins for goalies. He's also first in wins and shutouts with the Canucks and the Florida Panthers. And while he never won the Stanley Cup or the Vizina Trophy, he did win Olympic gold with Canada in 2010 and 2014. And in 2022, he became a first ballot Hall of Famer. Reportedly, he was an extremely funny guy in the locker room, coupled with the fact that he became the sixth ever goalie to become captain in the NHL. And it paints quite the picture of his character. It's actually illegal. Rule 6.1 in the NHL rulebook says no playing coach or playing manager or goalkeeper shall be permitted to act as captain or alternate captain. But the team decided to do it either way, since he was the rightful captain of the team. Although he could not officially have the C on his jersey, he was recognized by the team and the management as the official captain. Then it was his presence on social media. The Twitter account Strombone emerged during his career. It gained quite a bit of popularity, but no one knew who it was before Canucks fans realized that the quite popular account followed and was followed by other members of the team. Not long after, it was confirmed that Roberto Luongo was the player behind the account. And while he doesn't post much, and especially not after his retirement, the account has grown to over 750,000 followers. Now he averages about one pretty funny tweet a month. Then recently, he's taken to dissing the Vegas Golden Knights and their players on the long-term injury reserves. The whole story started with how the Golden Knights are trying to use their injury troubles to their advantage. Alex Martinez recently joined the injury reserve, and Mark Stone is already listed as an LTIR, just like he was at the end of last year's regular season. But the point of contention is that the salary cap isn't counted in the playoffs. Therefore, players that the Knights bring in before the trade deadline don't compromise anything in the playoffs when big names like Mark Stone and Alec Martinez are set to return. Fans on social media, especially platforms like Reddit and X, are claiming foul play. Roberto Luongo simply responded with this quite funny tweet. And while there were quite a few fans in his comments claiming that he should do something about this, I find his response quite appropriate. If it's within the rules, then of course you should do it, if possible. The teams are responsible for giving themselves the best possible starting point and can't miss small advantages, based on some fans' perspectives. Other teams have done this in the past, and as long as it's within the rules, then there's nothing to be done.